This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we will learn about transfer of control in GW Basic programming language. So in GW Basic, during the execution of a program, the program control can be transferred from one part of the program to another conditionally or unconditionally. GW Basic provides statements for both types of transfer of control. In unconditional transfer of control, the program control switches to a specific line by skipping one or more lines without any condition in conditional transfer of control the program control switches to a specific line number by skipping one or more program lines depending on a certain condition. So here we will talk about first the unconditional transfer control. So We will type about this that the unconditional transfer of control causes a move of the control from one part of the program to the other without any condition in GW basic the go to statement is used to implement unconditional transfer of control so first we will learn the go to statement in the unconditional transfer control because the type of unconditional transfer control so we will learn first the go to state go to statement is used to unconditionally transfer control from a program line to a specified line out of the normal program sequence and the syntax is
line number go to line number so here is the syntax of this program of the statement go to and now we will discuss a little bit about the interpretation now we'll discuss the interpretation the explanation of go to statement line number is a valid line number in the program the program control immediately jumps to the specified line number without <coughs> testing any condition this causes interruption in the normal program flow which is not considered a good practice in modern style of programming that's why in most cases in most of the programming languages they use of go to statement is discouraged if there is an executable statement airline number specified in go to statement then this and the statements following it are executed otherwise the program execution starts from the first executable statement after this statement so this is the last lines which i'm gonna read it again if there's an executable statement if line number specified in go to statement if an executable statement found with the go to statement then this and the statement following it are executed otherwise the program is which start from the first executable statement after this statement so that's all for today and we have learned today the go to statement syntax and its interpretation that this program practice is now discouraged in this modern era because it's not a good it is not considered as good programming practice so it actually jumps to a certain specified line number without any condition and without specifying any logical condition so that's all for today and thanks for watching my video <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,